All right, here we go. Winners finals. Blade Wise versus Fat Goku. Pretty even start. Pretty even two start. However, Blade Wise is going to get the edge guard right here on Fat Goku. Looking real strong for the first stock. Fat Goku really just trying to rack up the percent, trying to get him a kill range without actually committing too hard. He's doing a good job of that. Stays away from the down smash. Nice up B at a shield for Blade Wise. Oh my. Read the tag. Ooh, back airs. Back airs. Trying to keep himself safe. Goes to the up smash. Does not. Is unable to catch him due to the, the platform. Yeah, the dash dancing from Bladewise is real right now. He is just keeping Steven out. Ooh. Steven may indeed. Not even taking the first stock, and Bladewise is looking so strong right now. Just keeping Steven out. Oh, he tried to crouch cancel right there, but he does get the up smash. Steven trying to get it back in there. Fat Goku going in. Dash attack city. Oh, and he SDs. Yep, he's just going to start the next game. Oh, man. Yeah, you just sat down. <laughs> I just sat down. And it, the first match is already over. Okay, was it down to one stock? No. No. Ooh, um, Steven, Steven, Steven. Fat, Fat Goku wasn't even, like, actually, he hadn't even lost yet. He just, he, like, SD'd, and so he was just like, all right, I'm done. We're going to the next game. Okay, that happened. Yeah. That feeling we're like, you know, I as dude, I shouldn't have done that. That sucks. Yeah. This game sucks. Everything sucks. <laughs> That's the feeling that overcomes you when you get the when you get that kind of an SD. But game number two, <laughs> counterpick <laughs> Pokemon Stadium, you know, as expected from a fox. Alright, nice low recovery right there. Or rather, Bladewise maybe Ooh. doesn't quite kill a Bladewise. That was a really good up smash though. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. Pokemon Stadium, he was in real danger of dying from that up smash though. Yeah, I, I was skeptical, I wasn't sure. Yeah, it was it was a close one for sure. A couple of percent more. Ooh, nice. As good as I. Yeah, Blade Wise is really. It, it's his Peach it puts it makes it so difficult and, and you know changes the game to be really passive, and so it, it might anger Fat Goku a little bit. Uh, yeah, I it's. I know this is like kind of. Fat Goku has trouble with Blade Wise. He I think he has trouble with Peaches in general because he lost to MACD as well at PAX. Uh, he didn't have a great showing against MACD, so I think just the Peach matchup in general, maybe the way people play Peach, just kind of gets to him. Living that back air at about 130 percentage. Oh, and he just kills himself. All right, so Fat Goku's still in this. We are in the transformation, so he's going to be able to have a lot of room to run around. The middle platforms are pretty much the only thing hindering Bladewise from being able to do anything right now. Bladewise trying to sit under him. Fat Goku smartly angling his shield so he can't get under him. What's he going to do? Fat Goku, oh my goodness, he is just running away right now, and he is making Bladewise, he's forcing Bladewise to do specific things. All right, come on now. He's got a, oh, he can never really, he, he doesn't let, seem like he can ever really escape from Bladewise. Bladewise is always there, he always knows where, he, where he's going, and he's always got the option covered. Yeah, well, you know, as we've seen Bladewise versus Otto a number of times, so he does have the Fox matched up, probably down pat. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, once in a blue moon, you'll definitely see Bladewise beat Silent Wolf in a melee tournament. Yes, indeed. So that, I, that does have to do with the fact that they play a lot and yeah. they know each other really they, well. They, pretty, they, they show up every winner's finals, every grand finals, just about. There's, there's, there's almost no changing it. Ooh, nice. Grinders. Good go, job going for the down tilt instead. I like and it. Up. Okay, doesn't quite get it. Ooh, nice. That was a fantastic sneaky up smash right there. Yeah, I think that was really good by Bladewise that he recognized that he was going to be able to get out if he just got the wiggle out air dodge, which is really smart. And nice. Goes for one wave shine right there. Knows that he can't really get away with anymore. Yeah, I like the way Fat Goku is playing in this game. Um, so, oh, yeah, nice read <laughs> on the tech, actually. He's going to be able to make it back on the stage. What I was going to say is I like the way he's playing in this game because he is actually uh, running away more. And that, that's putting Bladewise in positions where he's just kind of forced to do something. Harkening back to 2014 uh, Fat Goku. Yeah, very campy character, or er, uh, person at the time. Everybody was so mad when they had to play him because it was just like, oh, oh yeah, there's his razors. There's so many lasers. Right now, he's looking pretty good. He is, he's up percent-wise, at least. And he, uh, he has actually had the advantage for most of the second half of this match. Oh, yeah. OK. I see. He's trying to keep everything safe. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get the up air. It's not going to happen, let's be honest. Yeah, so here we go. This is Pokemon Stadium's fire transformation, ladies and gentlemen. It is actually just a test of patience. This is the reason people want this stage banned. They just they want it struck, in, struck from the game completely. Just because of this transformation. Well, yeah, that, that, that stage no, is fine in other regards. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. That up smash is a little horizontal. Can he get the back air? No. A B from Bladewise right there. All right, just needs to play this market one. Both players so incredibly scared of each other. Trying to make it happen. Oh, gets the forward air. Is that it? Four. Fat Goku gets the back air. Fat Goku's yeah. going to go down here. All right, game number two. Bladewise right now. He's up 2-0. Fat Goku was looking pretty strong in that set. He's playing the right kind of game, I think. I think he should just go back to Pokemon Stadium and do it again. It was just yeah, a little bit of an unfortunate ending right there. But Well, like I think the great thing is, actually, he's playing like he really wants to win this. Because historically, if you look at any tournament he's gone up against Bladewise, he always loses to Bladewise. And I've never actually seen him take a game wow. against Bladewise before. Okay, that's really rare that, I, uh, that I've seen Bladewise unable to edge guard, like, you know, a somebody just below him in terms of skill level especially a fox player yeah fat goku is doing a real good job of handling the ledge right now blade was so trying to get stage control back yeah he just let him back on this the ledge there he didn't want to really fight him over on the edge uh, maybe he just feels like he is a little bit better in the neutral and says you know what no no i can kill you in the neutral on the edge it's a little bit difficult but if you come back on stage we'll see what we can do yeah, it, 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 he's probably afraid of uh, Blade Wise putting, it, using the ledge to his advantage and putting him in the back. Oh, that nice was back air. That was so smart. Great read. No, no. no tech coming out from Fat Goku. Being able to get out of the down smash, though, staying away from that option. Yeah. And I, I love how uh, nice. I love how Blade Wise is using the slap to just thwart Fat Goku's approaches. Like, he'll come up and clearly with the intention of doing a grab to up air or an up smash, and it'll be like, boop, slap. No, nope, you don't get to do that. Always gonna. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Blade Wise is stuck here. He has to up be at a shield. Yep. He finally found the gap. Fourth throw now. Okay. So you maybe fourth throw to catch him off the wall if he doesn't tech or something like that. Put him in a bad situation. Not really too bad. So see, you you can see here that the fire transformation doesn't exactly cause camping, but wow, very nice from it. Really. With the fire transformation, it really depends on where the players are when it transforms. If they're on opposite sides of the stage when it transforms, they're going to stay they're there. They're just going to sit there, yeah. Because neither player will gain any advantage from moving where they are. They, in fact, are pretty disadvantaged after they move. Nice. Fat Goku has made it back oh. on stage so many times. Yeah, he's doing good. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, oh. that was pretty close. He was I, trying. I love the reaction time there. The, re the reaction, the tenacity that that shows, that sequence of action shows, it shows I do not want to die. I'm going to do everything possible to make this happen. Yeah, it, 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 you know, you would think that Fat Goku might have kind of a lot of reserves about playing against Bladewise after being like 16 and 0. Mm -hmm. But he is really looking to take this right now. He is so, oh, the Phantom Hip on the up smash, unable to get it. <laughs> Bladewise has smiled about it too. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, like, see, now he's up. Uh, he was playing really well the last game. He almost won it. Now he is, like, solidly taking the advantage in the second half of this game. Yeah, definitely. I feel like he just needs to keep playing that kind of passive game and waiting for Bladewise to make a mistake because he has been doing exactly... Like, Bladewise has been making mistakes. He's been walking right into the Fox Zone. And and is this going to... Wow, <laughs> nice. He waited right there. He's like, come on, just make make a mistake. Come down here. Fat Goku off stage. This could potentially be extremely Ooh. dangerous. Yeah, he's looking for a nice SDI though. All right. Doesn't get it the second time. So we are 2 1 now. Fat Goku looking pretty all right. Here we go. All right, going back to Pokemon Stadium. Bladewise, maybe this is. Now, this was Bladewise's counter pick. Yeah, this is Now, this, this is something I don't that's not I don't really think is very characteristic of him, just like going back to the same stage if it is in fact a salty run back. I, I don't think it is. Maybe he just uh, likes this stage. All right. I mean, he, he probably has the most. Uh, he he's probably has the most experience on the stage against Fox. You know, due to it being a common Fox counter pick. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen him beat Mewtwo King's Fox on the stage. Granted, it was a few years ago, but still. Yeah. Well, it's still a good way, no matter what, to get ready for f any Fox. If you can beat him on their counter pick, you can beat him anywhere. Ooh, nice Ooh. up smash. Is that going to be able to do it? No. Fat Goku being nice and patient though. Oh my god, he just barely missed the up smash input there. Oh no, that could potentially be the stock right there. Yep, there yeah. it is. <gasps> Bladewise missed the, oh, uh, the okay. ledge. Steven's real. Okay, he's got a chance. He's back on the stage. He is at 86%, however, so he has to take the stock now. Ooh, trying to trick Bladewise into the shield. 
I like where uh, Blade Wise fell down there. He was like, I don't want to be in front of Fox. That's way too dangerous. Chose to fall behind him. Oh, he He's got to take yep. that stock. At 98%, he is in quite a bit of trouble. He kind of has to stay near the windmill, if you think about it, to be able to tech. Mm -hmm. Or at least that's I, what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, that's right. <laughs> I can't count how many times the windmill has saved my life. Oh, and that's going to do it. That was a really good call by Bladewise saying, all right, you know, I think he's going to recover to the windmill. The, the windmill like has safety on it, so I think he's going to go for that. I'm just going to go up there and up there. Yeah, that's, oh no, that's so judgmental. He has not, he, he has been getting hit by so many down smashes. Like, uh, Fat Goku has not stayed out of that like general area, which is pretty detrimental to him. He's allowed Bladewise to rack up a lot of super and a nice early kill. Now see, like what I'm happy, uh, seeing happening here is, uh, Fat Goku was being a little bit over aggressive. Like he he was just going in him, and Blade Boy wasn't really used to him oh, no. doing that. And I think that's what caught him off guard and what won him the last game. But now Blade Wise is going, okay, you're one of those boxes that wants to go in, that uh, that really wants to put on the pressure, and I'm gonna adjust to that. Yeah, see that when Fat Goku was was playing passively and just camping, he was doing so well. He basically put Teddy in so many situations that just weren't good for Teddy. And so I'm trying to figure out the... Th he, he, he looks like he's just lost his composure and just started getting angry about it. Wanted to be aggressive now. And it's just totally working to his detriment. It's not a good thing. Now that was, that was an extremely good effort right there. If it was a sweet spot, it probably would have killed. Ooh, very nice! Very oh, good read. Wonderful, man. Yeah. Just waited right there. He's like, you know what? Go ahead. Float in the air. I dare you. He's gonna try and be able to make it back on stage. It's really hard against Peach, man. It's just... This, this character sometimes wow, just oh, but he, the edge back, he gets hit by the forward okay, if he can make it back again there could be a really good chance oh nice tech, no. but no real thing so bladewise is going to advance to grand finals